All right, folks ask me, is the, is the VZ-58 accurate? Is it more accurate than an AK, less accurate than an AK? Um, well, first things first is, um, well, how, how can you tell, right? So what you want to do is you want to, first of all, sight a weapon in. Uh, I'll go into this in a second, but depending on the ballistics, you know, you want to take a look at this chart. Let's we'll start with this one. And you want to take a look at where you want to be. So um, it's, it's obviously going to vary for the type of bullet, the grain of the bullet, the speed of the bullet, etc. But this is a pretty reliable calculation right here. Um, based on a 123 grain bullet traveling at 23, I believe 2350 feet per second and a slight drag coefficient. So as you know, bullets don't fly straight, they curve and then they drop off. So if you kind of think of it that way, um, where it hits a certain point, it's going to more or less come back and hit it again. So what I mean by that is, because the bullet arches up and then comes down, there's going to be a path where it hits the same line twice. And that's how you sight it in. So in other words, if you would, in this particular case, um, this is a little bit tough to tell, but you have a 25 yard line and a 50 yard zero. The upper line is the 25 yard. So more or less, if your rifle is sighted in at 25 yards, it's going to, at 762 by 39, it's going to be accurate again at 200. So what you hit at 25, you're going to hit again at 200. Everything in between that is going to be approximately, the bullet's going to be three inches higher. So you're going to need to aim uh, depending on where you're at after the tornado, you're going to potentially need to aim lower because your bullet is flying. Then after 200 you have a pretty steep drop off and at 300 meters you're approximately a foot low. So you would have to adjust your aim to about a foot above the target. Now if you sighted your rifle for example at 50 yards you would be on at 50 and then more or less on again from 50 to 125 and then start dropping. The good news is that if you're shooting anything from 50 to 125 yards you more or less don't have to adjust your aim. It's very flat. But your overall range is reduced. So let's kind of zoom in on that. So you want to look at this chart. What do I, Again the top line is the 25 yard zero and the bottom line is the 50 yard zero. So as I mentioned, if you sight it at 50, you're more or less going to have no more than half an inch rise from 50 all the way out to 110 yards, and then you're going to have a pretty steep decline. If you sight it in at 25, you're going to be more or less on again at 200, so you have a larger effective range, and you're going to have a up to three and a half inch rise, you know, something like this, with respect to your target if you're aiming in between. So you would have to aim for center mass if you're aiming, you know, here, you would hit here. So what I did is I sighted my rifle in at 25 uh, yards, uh, just so that I would have a longer effective range, and I don't mind the three-inch rise. So now looking at the VZ, well, how accurate is it, or how do you sight it in? Um, hopefully you've seen this chart before. It's kind of a standard military sight-in chart, originally for the M16. Uh, you'd bring this out to the area you're trying to sight it in, be 25 yards or 25 meters. Uh, this was shot at 25 yards. Um, the outer target square in the paper represents what a center mass shot would look like at 25 yards. So if you theoretically can hit this paper at 25 yards, you could hit a target at that distance. Now you have an inner silhouette here, which is supposed to represent what a target would look like at, in this case, 300 or 200 yards. So now if you could reliably hit inside the black, then you would hit that target at 200 yards as well. So when you're sighting in a weapon, what you would do is you would take three shots. Uh, usually the highest quality ammo you can find, but I will try to explain why I don't think that matters. Uh, triangulate it and adjust you know, your sights up or down depending on where it would be. Take another three shots until you're more or less in the zero. So I took uh, my first three shots, which were one, two, and three using uh, probably the cheapest ammo I could find, which was 123 grain, like the ballistic showed, 762 by 39 Russian mil-spec surplus out of the spam cans. A shot right here, then uh, that was the first shot I took of the day. So then I did nothing with the sights, and I took three more shots, because I might have been jerking, and then three more shots hit one, two, and three. Okay, then I was realized that the sights were a little low in the VZ, so I adjusted one click up, and then I took three shots and I had one, <clears throat> excuse me, two, three. And that, but this shot potentially could be explained by jerk, but more or less with cheap ammo, you could very easily zero it in. So that would mean at 200 yards, 
I would be more or less dead on, um, as you can see both elevation and windage. So the VZ was certainly performed flawlessly. This was obviously shooting at a bench rest. That's how you would sight it in. And the last three shots, boom, 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 were were performed flawlessly with, like I said, very, uh, like I said, cheap lacquer coated Russian ammo. Certainly nothing uh, super high grade, and um, it certainly did its job. In other words, the ammo didn't start give way enough. I would have had, you know, one shot here, one shot here, one shot here. And then if I put in quality, then I would have, you know, one, two, three, you could say it's cheap ammo. Or if your gun was all over the place, regardless of the ammo you're using, then you could say the gun is just crap at that particular point. So in my opinion, um, it is more accurate than an AK. Uh, with respect, it's easier to shoot accurately. I'll put it that way. I do believe the tolerances are a little bit higher, so you do get a larger, uh, longer effective range. How it pertains to an AR, I'm not quite sure yet because I do know there's a lot of variability in ARs and they do come in varying qualities. They have the match grade, you know, they have the standard grade. I think it's going to be a mixed bag. It might be better than some of the standard but not as good as some of the uh, high-end ARs with their uh, competition barrels. But overall, mm, certainly accurate enough, like I said, with uh, cheap ammo uh, for a uh, assault rifle. So. That's what I did as a kind of a quick summary. I sighted it in at 25 yards, so I'm on at 25, which means I'm going to be on to get at 200. Anything in between that, I'm going to be up to three inch high, so you would aim a little bit lower. Um, that's pretty much it. That's how I did it. There's your accuracy question. Uh, if you have any more questions, let me know, or questions about sighting yours and depending on the purpose. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching.